Okay, when you first open the new version of Afterburner, you will have this grey skin. I'm not particularly, you might prefer it, but I'm not particularly fond of it. So if you just uh, scroll down to the settings, here on this uh, grey skin, and then go up to the top right corner where you see the arrows and scroll all the way along to the right to the interface and there you can see the actual picture of your skins down there and you've got the tab, the drop down tab there and if you find the one there we go that's the classic afterburner look, that's the one I prefer I think they do a skin there exactly the same but it's red uh, if you prefer that as well. Well, that's the classic afterburner um, skin, and it's also got your detachable graphs on the right hand side. Now, what we want to do is show you how to make your core voltage accessible for your graphics card. Okay, now when you get into your settings tab and you go to the main general tab and then compatibility and then it's unlock voltage control tick it in the tick box obviously I've already got it uh, ticked but uh, make sure you uh, ju I'll just unch tick it tick voltage monitoring as well for the sake of it now if you come across to the um, the tab to the right the drop down you'll see you've got an option there for third party reference or MSI cards I've just put this one down as the third party but reference might still work as well but third party is what I tried which is basically a third party card and it did work but a lot of the other third party uh, vendors which aren't MSI because Afterburner is a, a licensed MSI um, app it's basically Reva Tuner I think and they, they, uh, they just they licensed it but if you put third party down it works for me and just click OK down on the bottom and you should be good to go um, you'll see that you do have your voltage it's not greyed out anymore your voltage tab at the top and uh, you've got a drop down to the right of that voltage tab as well now what that shows is A memory voltage tab will come up and it will also show an auxiliary voltage in millivolts but the memory voltage in millivolts is does still seem to be greyed out the um, auxiliary voltage is, is there for you to uh, meddle with how you would like but uh, you know that that voltage probably isn't going to do as much good so really we're only going to be able to well, it's going to be graphics card specific. Uh, this one is for an R9 290X, so it's you know it's only it's going to let me on this card only up the core voltage if I need to stabilise and overclock, um, or if I need to if I've reached the limit as it is, and then I, I want to try going further. I could try adding a little bit more voltage, but uh, whichever graphics card you're going to be using with this. Um, with this software obviously you, you, you're going to have different options the memory voltage option might be um, able for you to uh, adjust uh, 